Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2 Tournament of Robotic Champions Lightweight Division Finals. Boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? We've got some exciting matches for you this week and this evening we've got Team Prehistorics Roly Poly in the first match versus Team Blackstorm's Bot 205 from last week. Then in our second round, we've got Team Steel Yard Dogs Mangy Mutt by popular demand versus Team The Scrappers 360 Arc Pounder. Then we'll have the final match to determine the champion of the tournament. But in this match, that champion will have to defend their title against the winner of the loser's bracket who will get a second shot at the title. So without further ado, let's get right down to it and see what these bots can do. Alright folks, here we are, best two out of three rounds. If you had to ask me, I'd have to give it to Bot205, but Roly Poly's pulled off some impressive stunts before. Let's see if he can do it again. Those axes are deadly. Alright 205, what you got? And they start off, ooh, in a heavy hit from Roly Poly. Sparks flying already. Bot 205's really giving it to him, pushing him into the barrels. Let's check that point count real quick. Woo, boy. Oh, man, it's going wild. And it looks like, ooh, Roly Poly is already out. I had to press tab to get the point count uh, so that I could see it. We've got Team Blackstorm's Bot 205 with over 6,300 points. Well, 6,370 uh, with um, prehistoric Roly Poly's only 3,000, but he was destroyed early on. Uh, no question about that. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, time for round two of Team Prehistoric's Roly Poly versus Team Blackstorm's Bot 205. Enter Let's hope it doesn't end as quickly as it did the last time. The crowd is sitting on the edge of their seats. Be careful that you don't get <laughs> hit by I like how it says the crowd is sitting on the edge of their seats and there's... Well, I'm sure there's a crowd out there somewhere. There's a crowd out there watching the video. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Just keep telling yourself that. <laughs> okay. And we're starting off. And a heavy hit, just like last time. Roly Poly's already on the ropes. Looks like Bot 205's spinner, his saw is actually pushing Roly Poly up instead of down. That advantage allows him to flip his opponent as well as dealing damage and it looks like Roly Poly is already out. Again, just like last week, it's best that we dealt uh, best two out of five, or best uh, two out of three because Bot 205 just finishes these matches incredibly fast. I wouldn't have picked him for a winner earlier on, but it looks like he might just take this whole thing. All right, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. All right, folks, and we're back. And in our second round, we've got Team Steel Yard Dogs Mangy Mutt versus Team The Scrappers 360 Arc Pounder. Without further ado, let's see what these bots can do. Welcome to the I wonder, I wonder how much um, damage Mangy seats. Mutt can really deal with 360 Arc Pounder having that huge club on his side. It doesn't look good for him, but he definitely had a lot of control in his la in last week's bout, which which won him the popular popular audience favor. <laughs> so let's see what he can do this uh, week. See if he can pull this off. 360 arc pounder comes in crazy as always, scoring heavy hits on the side chassis of Mangy Mutt. But Mangy Mutt looks to be pretty low with his low to the with his low ground clearance. Ooh, he might be able to pull off a win against Arc Pounder, but wait, no, he's been flipped over. This doesn't look good for him unless Arc Pounder hits him again and flips him right side up. Looks like Arc Pounder's just going to deal the damage, though. Of course, he doesn't actually have low ground clearance except for that scoop, but with the uh, with the snowplow on there, it kind of negates that, but it's mo mainly for defense and pushing purposes, and it looks like he's just going to take damage now until he's knocked out. And 360 Arc Pounder decides he wants to fly. What in the world is he doing now? He's coming in for another attack against Major Mutt. Ah, he's realized that Major Mutt's getting counted out. 
Looks like that's an easy victory for 360. Good thing we're doing the final round. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to go to 360 Arc Pounder, but I am looking very forward to 360 Arc Pounder versus Team Blackstorm's bot, 205. That's going to be interesting. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. Alright folks, and we're back for the final round of Meiji Mutt vs. 360R Pounder. It's best 2 out of 3, so let's see what these bots can do. Enter the parking lot of Meiji Mutt's got one more chance. He can still bring this back, but it's not going to be easy. He's got to make sure not to get knocked upside down this time. Funny how it's so important to have nice, bright, shiny white teeth on YouTube, and my first immediate reaction is to drink coffee. Classic. And 360 Arc Pounder's flying away. Looks like Meiji Mutt's not going to let him get away with that, though. <laughs> He's uh, trying to fly away himself now. Everybody's flying. This is Flybot's game. Did you know there was a cheat code in the original uh, Robot Arena that would allow you to actually make like a UFO bot? There was even a flamethrower at him. I can't, oh, 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 nope. And it looks like Major Mutt's been tossed over again. If, um, if 360 Arc Pounder helps him out with a nice heavy hit, he could possibly flip him over, but it looks like he's already pretty, pretty far ahead in points. Surprisingly, not nearly as far ahead as I would have thought he would be. Oh, by now. But that is a devastating hit right there. You can hear that one against the chassis. Looks like Major Mutt's in big trouble of getting knocked out. His chassis, take, his chassis is taking major damage, but he's back right side up again. He's going to try to use his control to regain this match. But a few more hits and he could lose his CPU. He's got to be really careful. 360 Arc Pounder's going one way and then another. No control on that bot, but the damage is ridiculous. Meiji Mutt's just trying to stay alive right now. If only there was some way to incapacitate 360 Arc Pounder. Maybe the Cinder Blocks can do it. Can Meiji Mutt manage to get 360 Arc Pounder into the Cinder Blocks? And he does! If he leaves them there, maybe 360 Arc Pounder will be... not stuck because it can still fly. Totally forgot about that, my bad. And 360 Arc Pounder's still dealing the heavy damage to Meiji Mutt. Meiji Mutt might be able to get him into the second set of Cinder Blocks. If he can recontrol the match, he's got to look for an opening where that devastating club isn't going to wail right into him. Oh, and speak of the devil, there's the club. Knocking off the scoop shovel on Meiji Mutt, sending him flying and smoking at the same time. Doesn't look like Meiji Mutt's going to be able to pull this one off, especially not without his snowplow. But a very valiant effort on his part. I don't think there's going to be any room for a judge's decision here because it looks like we're going to be looking at a knockout pretty soon. One or two more good hits, and that'll be all she wrote for Meiji Mutt. Its only hope is to get a count out on 360 Arc Pounder. You've got 30 seconds. Can it be done? Oh, that's the second one. Need a third one. And, whoa, and, he, and 360 Arc Pounder just misses that, misses that third hit goes a little bit too high in its spin and its hit goes right over Meiji Mutt. Now Meiji Mutt's underneath 360 Arc Pounder. Don't want to miss that final hit. 360 Arc Pounder going wild. Getting those heavy hits against Meiji Mutt and now we've got a definite win by 360 Arc Pounder with over 12,000 points versus Steel Yard Dogs Meiji Mutt with an honorable 2,000 considering that his only weapon is either two axe blades on the side or one axe blade in the middle. I really can't tell which is which, but a very valiant effort. I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with the final round. All right, everybody, and we're back for the final round. We've got Team Blackstorm's Bot 205 versus the legendary and the uncontrollable Scrapper's 360 Arc Pounder. It's the final match to find out who will be the lightweight champion. However, remember, the winner of this round in the lightweight tournament will have to defend his title for at least one match against the winner of the loser's bracket, 4-on-4, four four, free for all that I did, I think it was week before last. We've got one more round of that, 
and then the winner of those two rounds will face off against each other, and the winner of that round will go up against the champ. So, without further ado, let's get to the final battle and see who's going to be the lightweight champ for this season. Enter I can't wait. If I had to give it to there anybody, no I'm going to have to say 360 Arc Pounder. His hits are just too devastating. Be careful that you don't but, get hit Bot 205 does voice. rack up points incredibly fast, which would indicate that his damage is, is very, very high for a lightweight. Even with a saw that that deadly looking, he really racks up points faster than I would have expected. But I'm going to zoom all the way out now to try to get that first hit. Alright, whoa, and 360 arc pounder coming in with the heavy hits on the side. Bot 205 taking a devastating hit, pushing him into the wall. Bot 205 with a thousand points, 360 arc pounder already with over 3,000, almost 4,000 now. He's got to watch out for those cinder blocks. They come down not hitting anybody, but looks like they're jamming up Bot 205's main weapon. If only this game had uh, cutting physics where Bot 205 could cut the bar off of uh, 360 Arc Pounder's Arc Pounder, which has actually devastated the main weapon of Bot 205. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the original, uh, not BattleBots, but Robot Wars, wasn't it? Um, or BattleBots, either one. When the when one opposing bot lost its main weapon, that was almost always a a ooh. Uh, a win in the judge's decision if it came to a judge's decision. I was right, 360 arc pounder just too heavy for bot 205. Heavy being the operative term, seeing as how they're both lightweights. But still, with over 5,000 points, we'll get right back to the next round. Don't need to write that down, really, I don't think. So, let's get right back into it. To the this is for the lightweight champ. <laughs> the terrible part is, if I actually win the uh, loser's bracket, I'll have to go up against the actual, the the very bot that beat me in my first round. <laughs> ah, classic, classic. Hey, who knows, maybe I'll actually get there. I believe in myself. I believe in my ability to successfully succeed. Don't know why I said succeed instead of succeed. Very difficult to pronounce that. Oh, and we've got Bot 205 getting some good hits against those tires. On uh oh, he's on his side now. That could spell trouble. Oh, and knocked immediately right side up. Flipped very, um, very unceremoniously by 360 Arc Pounder and its uh, flighty ways as it almost catapults itself out of the arena entirely. Oh, Bot 305 getting some good saw blade action going on there. 360 Arc Pounder really getting up to full spinning speed though. That could spell trouble. Bot 3, Bot, oh, Bot 205. Ooh, he only had, he only had a small window in there. And he, there was just no way. There was just no way. Because every time there was a window, um, 360 Arc Pounder would be halfway across the arena. And there it is. The lightweight champion of the Robot Arena 2 DSL mod tournament of, uh, uh, Tournament of Robotic Champions. <laughs> the Tournament of Robotic Champions champion. <laughs> but he's going to have to defend his title against Lord Only Knows Who from the loser's bracket. So far, on one side we've got Broke, and then on the other side we've got my bot, Stingray 2. Well, the rookie's bot, Stingray 2. And of course we've got the winners from these last rounds that need to go up against each other. So that'll be the four of them versus each other. And then the winner of that will be, I think, in a three-way match. I'll have to write it all down just to make sure. But I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy, my friends. Yeah.